Well, India's third lunar spacecraft, Chandrayaan-3, has spent 12 days in orbit around the Earth. The Indian space agency, ISRO, has now said that the craft performed its fifth orbit racing maneuver. This is yet another step towards sending the craft further away from Earth. Our senior correspondent, Siddharth MP, sent us this report tracking Chandrayaan-3's journey so far and explaining the way ahead. On Friday, 14th July, at 2.35 p.m. Indian Standard Time, the third Indian lunar mission, Chandrayaan-3, was launched into space. M4 rocket carrying India's prestigious Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft. Tracking. India's most capable rocket, LBM-3, hurled the 3.9-ton or 3,900 kg spacecraft into an orbit around the Earth. It marked the beginning of a 40-day journey to the moon. Initially, the craft was put in a highly elliptical orbit around the Earth. This means the craft is not travelling around the Earth in an even circle. In this orbit, the craft is barely 170 kilometres at its closest to Earth and 36,500 kilometres at its farthest from Earth. Every few days, the Indian Space Agency has been firing the onboard engines of the spacecraft and moving it further away from Earth. So far, such manoeuvres, known as Orbit Ray's most capable rocket, LBM-3, hurled the 3.9-ton or 3,900 kg spacecraft into an orbit around the Earth. It marked the beginning of a 40-day journey to the Moon. Initially, the craft was put in a highly elliptical orbit around the Earth. This means the craft is not travelling around the Earth in an even circle. In this orbit, the craft is barely 170 kilometres at its closest to Earth and 36,500 kilometres at its farthest from Earth. Every few days, the Indian Space Agency has been firing the onboard engines of the spacecraft and moving it further away from Earth. So far, such manoeuvres, known as orbit-raising manoeuvres, have been performed five times. The latest one was carried out on 25th July, Tuesday afternoon. Typically, when using the most powerful rockets in the world, it barely takes four days to get to the Moon. However, India does not possess powerful rockets that are capable of putting heavy spacecraft directly on the path to the Moon. Therefore, using the most energy-efficient and cost-effective methods, ISRO gradually hurls its craft towards the Moon. As the spacecraft continues to circle the Earth and move further away, various tracking stations of the Indian Space Agency and foreign space agencies will be keeping a close watch on Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft and its health mission progress. In the 12 days that it has spent in orbit, India's third lunar spacecraft, Chandrayaan-3, has successfully performed five orbit-raising maneuvers. Each of these maneuvers are meant to push the craft further away from Earth's gravitational influence and also from the surface of the Earth. The next crucial maneuver for the craft is planned on 1st August. This is known as a translunar injection burn. This is a long-duration burn of the spacecraft's onboard engines. This is meant to push the spacecraft completely outside of Earth's gravitational influence and thereafter it will be put on a path that will lead it towards the Moon. Thereafter it is meant to be captured by lunar gravity and then the craft can gradually slow itself down and prepare for a lunar soft landing that ISRO has planned for the 23rd of August at 5.47 pm India time. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, Beyond World is One.